Hi Mang, uh, thanks for, for being here. Um, you are you are working on on the on the new stuff on Excel. Congratulations. Uh, Thank you. I'm going to to ask you a little bit more about your your exact function uh, inside the teams. Uh, I read that you you are coming from traditional uh, sports. Uh, I think you were a goalkeeper. Yes, exactly. I played professional football myself as a goalkeeper and then did my bachelor's in psychology and business in America and then my master in sport psychology in Germany and then started in March 2018 at Schalke. Then 2019 season I went to Origin and now I joined for the 2000. Hmm. Uh, why did you decide to make this change from traditional sports to the to the esports? I mean, um, I did an internship at Schalke before, and I wasn't even sure if sport psychology and esports make sense. So, a friend of mine was the CEO of sports, Tim Reichert. So we realized after the internship it might make sense, and then they also had a, a really poor spring split in 2018 and they wanted to bring positive new aspect into the staff so we tried myself out and we ended up being second place and losing 3-1 in the final in madrid fanatic and then the head coach andre giotto went to origin since we worked really good he's doing all the stuff inside of the game and i do everything kind of outside of the game so i went with him there and since there was now a company structure change I'm at Excel I will continue with the out of sight outside of game aspect hmm. uh, I think people have a lot of ignorance about uh, this kind of uh, more staff functions so explain me a little bit of what is your your job exactly and the impact that that you have on the on the teams I don't know if I would call it ignorance. I think there is not that much awareness, actually. Um, I agree, too many people in a staff system is not beneficial, my point of view. But I bring yeah, things to the table or into the team where they haven't been focused on. For example, you can see that the coach is focusing inside the game, but obviously there's a lot of stress, discussion, People are just playing, they're getting burnt out, they're getting really toxic. So what I will do, I focus on, I would say, yeah, the well-being performance, well-being psychology and performance psychology, where I just work on getting better sleep habits, getting healthy lifestyle through physical activity, nutrition and then also focusing on mental things so for example what does it mean sleep is really related to emotional balance so of course it will get stressed over the season because you're playing professional esports there's a lot of sponsors money involved you want to get better so it's a lot of stress so you can imagine if you stop sleeping or decrease the amount of hours you are really more irritated you know from yourself you are more anxious You're not that focused and this obviously really bad for and also it's really not good for well-being because you are stressed and you're not open to uh, communication so you're really negative and i want to bring positivity whereas physical activity is really important because we can't just play all the time but even physic physical activity like cardio activities what is it rowing swimming running biking will give you a better fitness and fitness brings you a better concentration over time so you can imagine if you have a better concentration over time you can play more games more consistent and more efficient and also gives you emotional balance and of course with food we know that as well that some food can make you brain foggy or really tired or sometimes you have a huge lunch you know and you feel like you can take a nap so i'm focusing on all this kind of parts and then also helping the coach when there are discussions when there are issues and also focus i know most people are just focusing on the player itself but for example i would never call a player by their 
game name. I always call them by their real name and also want to improve them and develop them as a human being because all I'm talking about is a regular demand of a human being, but they are not this aware about, about this because they have been just playing, 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 whereas they didn't really create their own awareness of what they actually need in order to be long-term happy, healthy, and performing on a good level. Uh, you told me that you are coming from Origin. Um, yes. Origin is famous for the uh, cold uh, refresh method. So why is this uh, method so popular inside, well, uh, Origin and also Astralis? I mean, that's exactly what I also did at Schalke one year before. Um, they called it, they, they were called called Refresh Entertainment before and now they're called Stratus Group, but they just focusing on, you know, esports, many things make sense in esports, they're doing in esports, but many things from traditional sports make sense in esports. And then you have to figure out what is the most appropriate mixture and how do you implement them? Because it's also about not to overload players and do things step by step. So they have a really, yeah, what I would say, first mover approach. And um, yeah, I think it's uh, just really good, no matter who it does and where it is, that people focus obviously on the outside of the game because that, you know, everyone focuses inside of the game. If you are focusing on outside of the game, that's already good because it has an effect and it's even better if almost no one else is doing that. So I've started that in Schalke in 2018. That's how we ended from an ace team place to a second team place and almost making it to the finals. And I also was at Origin helping out there, um, providing with the system. And now I want to create my own system or not my own system, but focusing exactly on the same things. Because like I said before, these are the needs of a human being in order to be on the best performance and see who we got, which player we have, which staff we have, and what is the most appropriate system or different solutions for each of the player because within the players you have also different needs or different awareness or different resistance and experience in this kind of topics, you know. So it's, every single player has a unique receipt, I would say, and you have to find that and then get the ingredients together and make the best meal out of it to make it and like grab it in a picture. Hmm. Uh, I also want to ask you, why did you choose Excel for your next team or your next challenge? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a really good question. Uh, I, I have to come there because it's really important for me that the organization has the same values as I have. And they are focusing on the long-term vision with a perf performance vision, bringing a lot of elements from traditional sports or performance side into the organization and I'm really happy and excited to lead this department and bring the players to the next level since they are having exactly the same values and core beliefs to first be consistent and also develop and get better over time also focusing on the actual player that's why I decided to go there hmm. uh, also you were these two last years with Andre on yes. both Origin and Schalke and this year you are going to work along with John Buck. Uh, why, what do you think about him and also uh, do you feel like this change is a challenge for you? Uh, first of all, I think it's also important to mention when I started at Schalke, Andre was an assistant coach at this time. And I also didn't know League of Legends myself. Um, so, you know, I really created a really good relationship with Andre and we had a good role clarification and Joe and I had already amazing talks. I really also liked working with Andre, but since you're now in the new team and before I signed, I also talked with him because it's really important for me. Uh, clearly mentioned um, you are coaching team, you are staff together. And it should make sense because if you have a head coach who doesn't believe that this makes sense, that makes not too much sense for me to make the move, you know? So we had talks and I've heard a lot about him, but it's 
for me always important to create my own pictures and I have a really positive picture from the talks I've had with him and I'm really looking to create something special at Excel because we are on the same page and it will be a really nice and hard working environment together to get the players to the next level. So I'm excited about that. Hmm. So this is this is basically all. Uh, thank you. Uh, it feels good to know um, more information about how you work inside the teams and your impact on them. And I'm sure people will love to to hear more about this. Uh, good luck on Excel, and we'll keep on touch. Yeah, thank you very much for the talk. I'm always available. Hmm. Bye. Bye.